it's unique because we think we're the only show that's about putting on a show. <laughs> and it's kind of, uh, kind of a meta look at the creation of a Broadway musical. And then you get to see the people that actually do it. So Steven Spielberg said it very, very correctly. He always wanted to do an upstairs, downstairs look at the creation of a Broadway musical. And we think that's very unique unto itself and separates this show from other shows. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's, there's no question. I mean, sure. we wouldn't exist without Glee. There's no question. And what Glee did was open the door for us because before Glee, if you went into a meeting at any of the networks, they would say to you, get out of my office. <laughs> you know, you're crazy. Musical series do not work. Glee proved that wrong, and thank God. And as a result, because of the success of Glee, the networks are then going, well, maybe there is room for a musical series. And we are not in any way, shape, or form like Glee, but we're our own show, but clearly Glee led to our show. Right. And and Deb Messing studied theater mm -hmm. and Angelica has never done Broadway, but okay. she's she's game. <laughs> <laughs> she's and fabulous. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well basically what happened was we sat in a conference room with Steven Spielberg and Bob Greenblatt who runs NBC mm -hmm. and Teresa Rebeck, who wrote the show, and Mark Shaman, Scott Whitman, who wrote the music and lyrics, mm -hmm. and the whole group. And basically what happened was we kicked around ideas. What is the show going to be about? Mm -hmm. And we didn't know at first. And one day, um, Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman, who write the songs, Scott Whitman said, I have an idea. Why don't we do a musical about the life of Marilyn Monroe? And everybody in the room went, huh, that's really mm -hmm. interesting. Right. Understanding that it shortcuts the musical mm -hmm. in that if you were doing an abstract original musical that was just about something that you couldn't relate to, it'd be harder for the audience to latch on to it. But here, by starting with an icon mm -hmm. and a story that people know, right. and a life that people know, um, it does shortcut the storytelling because when you show Joe DiMaggio as the, the husband right. and all that, people know who that is. So you can then devote your screen time to development of our characters rather than telling the audience about who those people are in the musical. Brilliant, I love it. It's just as much of a loop to us as the... But the, do you think that the, could help you? You, Because I've heard a lot of really you know, positive I, things about I, that I movie. I think anything dealing with Marilyn Monroe will create attention mm -hmm. as much as, you know, there's the statue was, that was unveiled here right. in Chicago. Right, right. You know, we, we saw it in the newspapers in New York and went, great, you know? <laughs> we love it that it's in, it's in the cosmos, it's in the zeitgeist. Right. It's, it's all good. Right. 